Hi guys. Um, so today I'm going to show you how I ombre my hair. Um, as you can see, it's not as ombre as it should be. I mean, it's it looks ombre to me. It does. Maybe in the lighting it doesn't, but to me it does um, look pretty ombre, like from the tips and stuff, whatever. But just to tell you, this isn't really my hair. It's a excuse me. It's extensions. Alright, so my parents didn't really want to let me dye my hair because I know it would damage it since it's like bleach and all that stuff. So they didn't want me to ruin my hair and I didn't want to either. So I did extensions. And I dyed the extensions. I can't really show it to you right now, but I will show you extra ones that I kept because I'm not really wearing them right now. Alright, so this came with it and this is the one where it has the two clips this is the one with the two clips so you just if you can hear that um don't mind that sound it's just my rabbit it's just my bunny all right so as you can see here it's nice and brown and then it goes slightly lighter and then it goes to a little bit blonde i mean you can't really notice it because of the lighting but it's ombre and I just love the results I use Clairol something like that born blonde that's the color that I use and it comes a you I got pretty good results I mean I love the way it turned out um right now it's not looking pretty good but it looks nice and um yes I just wanted to tell you that and that I got glasses um, I've had them in for like a month now. I just didn't do any, I just didn't upload any videos because I just really didn't feel like it. So I'm just going to show you the ones that I have and, um, the ones that I got. And these glasses, I got them from, um, BJ's because, um, really, I'm just going to be honest, my parents didn't have enough money to buy me one of those Giorgio Armani ones or whatever uh coach whatever you want to call it but yeah they didn't have enough money so I was like you know I'm not gonna waste money on a pair of glasses you know it's it's important but my vision is not that you know horrible that I really need them so um I wear these to school every day I have to um there's really no choice for me and when I come home I'm basically I'm basically in school the whole day so um, I wear these every day, and it's like my normal routine every day, but sometimes I forget them at home, and I have to have my parents get them for me, which is embarrassing. Alright, so these are it. They look like this. They look like one of those geeky glasses on my hair. Anyways, well, yes, I'm going to put them on. So, um, yes, these are my glasses, and I wear them to school every day. Yes, they might make me look nerdy. But, um, yes, I wear these to school every day, and, um, I'm just loving the extensions. They make my hair look super long, and they're so pretty. All right, so, um, yes, and, um, I wear these every day to school and stuff like that. Um, oh, you can see the camera. <laughs> right there. Anyways, so, yeah, you can see them, and, yes, that's it. And once I take them off, um, I look pale because not pale but I look weird without them because you guys have seen in all my videos me without my glasses and now you see me with them on so for me and my friends I look kind of weird without them on all right so I mm, really don't know what to talk about in this video so, I'm just going to tell you a very important thing. Um, I got these fake lashes. I got the individual one. Individual ones. You can get long, short, medium. Yeah. So, these are Ardell. If you can see the Ardell part in the corner, yes. Um, these are individuals. It comes with a last adhesive and remover. 
um, which is right here. This is the lash thingy majigger adhesive, and the, la the lash remover was supposed to be here, but I took it out because I was wearing them that day that I used them, that I first got them, and I took it off immediately because they were just annoying me, and they did not look nice. Alrighty. So, they look like this. One thing is that if you're going to keep them on for the entire day, it's best if you don't go out if you do short and then use the long ones all the way at the end because they will legit touch your eyebrow. For me, they touched my eyebrow. And I was just like at the mall, flaring my little things on my eyes. And I was like, oh my god. I was so scared people were going to like look at me and be like, like, no. So I use these and I don't really like them. I don't like wearing fake eyelashes because I feel like I don't really need them. And yes. So, if you don't really need um, individual eyelashes or stuff like that, I'd use it for an event or like a really special event. Um, I don't know, just use it whenever you'd like to. I'm just combing this because it feels so soft. Alright, so the, the effects of dyeing it ombre. Oh, now you can see it a little bit, but the... The disadvantages. The advantage is that it looks really nice and pretty and bouncy because I curled it. Alright. The disadvantage, the ugly part about it, is that the ends are just all crinkly and nasty. Like they like once you you know desire like however you want to do it. Like you can flat iron it or you could curl it like I did and it just makes the ends all crinkly and all nasty. All right. And now another disadvantage. If you smell it, like after I use the conditioner and everything, if you smell it after, it smells like you burned your hair. The, you burn the hair like a lot of times, and it just smells nasty. It smells like you just burned your hair, like you just put it on top of the heater and just like kept it there for hours and hours, and it just things like oof, things like the hair salon when like the burning scent um yes and it doesn't look as shiny and voluminous as it's supposed to look so that's a disadvantage another advantage is that it just looks so flipping awesome like on my hair it's pretty long which makes it look unreal but if you curl it and you attach it it looks pretty cool all right so Somebody had asked me to do a tutorial on Dollar Tree products. I did find a um, makeup foundation from the Dollar Store. And I use that just to highlight under my tones a bit. And sometimes, sometime, like when I didn't have any makeup foundation, I'd use that one from Dollar Tree. And just make me break out and made my face all gross and nasty and it made my face really irritated and it made my face red so one minute and I'll go grab it for you all right so it's this I want you to see the brand Alright, so yes, and it says makeup foundation right there, right there, and then on the back it says to use, and yeah, to use, it says apply and blend with fingertips. Apply this nasty stuff on your face with your fingertips. I'd use a brush if I were you just to get the full coverage, and just you know. It's just nasty. Like, I don't even want to show you it. Like, you open it up, and it's like this nozzle. And, like, it's so light. Like, this is the only color that it comes in. And look at it compared to my face. Like, I, I, want, I don't want to look white. I want to look my normal skin tone, which is tan. And I just, just, 
Ew. This just makes my face all nasty and gross. And I don't want to even want to show you. I don't want to test it out or anything. I just want you not to buy it ever. If you're going to use Dollar Tree products and they have NYC, go ahead and use it. But not none of this. NYC is really good. Um, I see those products near the Maybelline stuff at um, CVS and stuff like that. Don't ever get makeup from Dollar Tree. Like, I saw this girl online. She had, like, this big stack of makeup from Dollar Tree. I was like, no. If you're going to buy makeup, buy it, like, in a good store, not Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is places where you get candy. I get candy from there. So, yes. And, um... That is really it. I mean, I can show you guys a look if you want. I primed my face and everything. Alrighty, so I primed my face and all that stuff. The only products I'm going to be using today are is the Revlon 7-Eleven Black Magic Palette. These are cream shadows. It's white, um, black, um, pink, and then a shimmery white. Um, yes. When you open it, it looks like this. Not all crappy, but it looks like this. Um, the matte white under here, I use, I use the most. That's why it's all wasted. All right, so let me just put my hair to the side. All right, so the colors I'm going to be using, um, I'm going to actually be showing you, I actually changed my mind, I'm going to be showing you how to hide different types of um, like blemishes or anything like that with cream shadows. Alright, so you're going to want a matte white, like really matte, and that's why I have this one. It's kind of like face paint, but really matte, it's really matte. I don't know if you can see it, but it is. So... I don't know where I have some my face. All right. Um. So I'll leave right here. I could problem where my nose is. The arch right in there. On this side, I get a lot of blemishes on that side. So I'm just gonna blend that, and that gave it just a little bit more of a calming down so it doesn't really show as much right now all right yes so that is really it there's nothing else for me to say except for that i will be doing another tutorial right after this um after i get my stuff on um on like different types of shadows or I'll think of something, I don't know. Alright. Love you guys. Bye.